Hello, my name is Monique. I'm part of Christchurch W4 and I work for a local project called the Youth Community Home right here in Chiswick. And my job is to link this brand new project with the local community here. And I must say, I've been really bowled away by the generosity of Chiswick towards us. And the Youth Community Home Project is one of Christchurch's mission partners. And I'm here today reporting live from the Youth Community Home. So Monique, what is the Youth Community Home? It is a housing project that opened in Chiswick in January and it offers um, a safe and supportive community for young adults between the ages of 18 and 24 who are in housing need. And the home has space for nine guests and also has a wonderful live-in host family and a couple of live-in volunteers. Here is our wonderful live-in team in our fab community space. We also have a whole team of volunteers, some of whom are from Christchurch, and they come in and help with cooking or with mentoring the young people one-to-one. -one. And the mentoring scheme helps the young people to make steps towards getting into employment or further study and into longer-term accommodation. So Monique, how can we pray for the project? Well, you can pray in a number of ways. First of all, do pray that every young person that comes to us would feel welcomed and safe during their time here, that they would settle in well and make really good steps towards creating a more stable future for themselves. Do also pray for our referral system. We have nine beautiful bedrooms all ready to go, but due to the lockdowns, it's been really hard to do the referrals um, just over the phone and we um, have just struggled to find the right young people who will really benefit from all of the support that we're ready to offer. And do also pray for our live-in host family and for the two live-in volunteers. Pray that um, they would have God's strength and energy and grace for the work that they do here. And lastly, please pray for continued good relationships with our neighbours, local community, other businesses and organisations. And just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all of your support. 